everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to today's interactive food aloud. Today, I have a very special story for us called Wild and Beautiful. It has a very special message in it from my little friends in the audience reading along with me today. So listen closely, and it's going to inspire you to go and live your best life, your best wild and beautiful life. All right, my friends, double thumbs up if you are ready to begin. Excellent, let's get started. So the title of today's Interactive Read Aloud is Wild and Beautiful, written by Amanda S. Cormier and illustrated by Naya Kirichenko. So the person who writes the book is called the author. The illustrator is the one who draws all the pictures. Two different people made this book together. Now let's take a look at the cover and what do you notice going on? Right, wow, I see two people on the cover, right? I see this woman, she looks older, her hair is all, oh look at all her hair is all spread out behind her. It looks like they're lying down on the ground, laying back. My friends, if you wanna go out and lean back, spread out your arms, ah, oh, stretch them out. Feels pretty good, right? And I see a little girl here and they, they look similar, so it's making me think that they're related maybe, right? Maybe mother, daughter, eyes are closed, maybe they're dreaming, and what do you notice going on all around them? Some adventurous things, right? I see outer space, a paper airplane, some waves down here, paper boats, maybe some traveling. Let's see what's going on. Here's our title page. That's the title of our book, Wild and Beautiful, our author and illustrator. When I was young, I dreamed of a wild and beautiful life. I dreamed of traveling to every corner of the world. Wow, my friends, where would you want to travel to? Hope you get to go there one day. Look at that. Look at these paper boats. Maybe she likes sailing or maybe hiking up the mountain. Hmm. Ooh, this place looks cozy and warm. I'd meet new people in cafes and we discovered that we spoke the same language of laughter. Oh, my friends, because even if you don't speak the same language as someone else, you can both still laugh together, right? Because laughing sounds pretty similar no matter what language you speak. My friends, can I hear what your laugh sounds like? <laughs> Here's what my laugh sounds like. <laughs> I dreamed of climbing tall mountains and swimming in oceans. My friends, which one do you like to do better? Climb tall mountains, swim in the oceans. I really like to swim. Both are wonderful though, right? I would pick both if I, I would pick both. A flying in planes through big fluffy clouds. <gasps> oh, my friends, can you spread out your arms like an airplane? Look at, she's spreading out her arms. Like the wind is blowing, like she's soaring through the air. Wow. So she dreamed of dancing all night to loud, loud music. Oh, I like to dance, my friends. Show me your best dance. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. And I'd sing on big stages to big roaring crowds. Oh, I love to sing too, my friends. What's your favorite song? Want to sing it for me? Let me hear it. Oh, wow, you should sing in front of a big crowd one day too. Always ready to take on the next adventure and learn the next big thing. Right, so this woman looks like she is always ready to go on a new adventure, loves to learn. Is that like you two? Yeah. There is nothing I couldn't see or do. Nothing was out of reach. Oh, what animal do you see back there? Camels? Hmm, maybe she's in the desert somewhere. But then, oh, then who's this? Baby? But then came you. So she's doing all these things, traveling around the world, trying all these new things, and then <gasps> came baby. And how does she feel about that? She looks really happy. And even though I've flown in the sky, I've climbed mountains, swam in oceans, met thousands of people, danced and sang my heart out, and still do those things now, <gasps> there is nothing in my life that compares to you. So even though she did all those amazing things, none of it is as amazing. This little baby. Oh. Uh, and what do you notice about little baby? Not so baby anymore, right? She grew up. You, my love, are my wild and beautiful. Oh, and I see, oh, what animals are those? See some polar bears, some paper cranes. Now, 
It's your turn, my sweet wild one. What will you dream of doing with your wild and beautiful life? <gasps> huh, my friends, what do you dream of doing with your wild and beautiful life? Yeah, let's think about that as we read the rest of the story. There is joy in the dreaming of the adventures you'll have. Ah, so dream about the adventures you want to have. Right, my friends? Take a moment, close your eyes. Dream of what you really want to do, what adventure you really want to go on. Yeah. Maybe you'll grow a big garden with flowers that reach for the sky. My friends, can you take your hands and reach for the sky? <gasps> Imagine flowers that big, taller than you. Wow. You could cruise into space discovering new far away frontiers. Oh, do you want to go to outer space, my friends? What would you want to see in outer space? Maybe the moon, Jupiter. You could live on the top of a mountain just to enjoy morning sunrises with the birds. Oh, way up on a mountain to see the sunrise. Maybe build bridges and buildings giving people places to live. Ooh, what would you build if you could, my friends? Wow, very cool. And what about being a doctor? Your bright mind could find a cure for anything. Oh, do you want to be a doctor? Is that one of your dreams, my friends? To grow up and help treat people who are sick? Help them feel better? Start a collection of beautiful paintings that fill your heart with wonder. Oh, we can paint, make your own art, or collect other people's art. Or, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Cooking or baking? You master the art of baking. Days filled with cinnamon strudels and strawberry pies. Mmm, those sound delicious. What would you want to bake? Oh my goodness, so yummy. Or spend your time showing love to the people around you, no matter who they are. I like that one, right? Showing kindness and love to everybody. How is she showing kindness? Giving flowers right to the woman. How do you show kindness, my friends? What's one example of how you can show kindness to someone? It's a good example. There is so much you can do and so much to love in the magical world. I'll be here waiting to see what you find. So my friends, go off, explore, have your wild, beautiful life, and know that there's always someone here waiting for you, loving you, and ready for you to come back home and share everything you discovered with them. Let's start the planning. Your adventures await. All right, my friends, let's start planning. What adventures do you want to go on? I can't wait to see what you, my wild and beautiful one, do with your day. Oh, how beautiful. I can tell that this book is full of love, right? The end, my friends. This book makes me really excited to go outdoors and explore the world, to go on wild and beautiful adventures. Maybe try something new, my friends. Baking, climbing, art. What is something you really liked about this story or something you saw in here that maybe you want to try? Yeah, there are so many amazing ideas in this one. Well, my friends, I hope that this book inspired you to go out and live your beautiful and wild life or start planning, right? Start thinking about and dreaming about everything you want to do in this beautiful world that we live in. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud. If you enjoyed today's read aloud, go ahead and subscribe to my Facebook YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, my friends, if you want to share with me your own wild and beautiful adventures, please reach out to me. You can find me here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. All the social media links can be found down below. Otherwise, until next time, my friends, happy reading.